Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a building system using Unity Game Engine. In this episode, you're going to learn how to place down walls and furniture. At the end of this episode, you will get something like this. Also, this is episode 2 of the building system, so if you're new and don't know what to start with, please check out the video in the top right corner or in the description down below. Now, let's get started. Let's create a new script called build and open it. Then create a variable, public variable name wall. So public game object wall. And after that, we need to detect if our mount, if the player hit left click. So type if input dot get mouse button down or guess mouse button down and our digit is zero for left click one for right click and two is for middle click and we want to create a clone of our wall so game object object clone will be equal to instantiate which is a function for create creating a clone so we want to create a clone of our wall the next parameter is the position so at we will need to get the also get the preview the wall preview so game object preview wall and here we want to preview wall dot transform dot position and finally we want it to rotate in we want its rotation to be the same as the preview wall so if you remember in the last episode we make the wall follow our cursor so we want it to be as ex the wall clone to be the same position and the same rotation so preview wall dot transform dot rotation and that's it for creating a clone now and we want to add the object clone before the transform dot position and here as well and that's it wait no let's fix this a little bit so actually this is good so let's come back to our program and test if it's working so now if we hit left click Nothing happens because we haven't assigned it yet, so let me quickly do that to drag it to the camera center. Wait, it's not the preview object, it's the build one. Okay, so let's drag our wall preview. And to create our wall, you just need to duplicate this, rename it to wall and then apply another material to it so let it be a you know, like a white color like this is fine so let's drag it to our material okay now we have two game object and this is the preview one and this is the one that we will create a clone of so let's put the wall right here. We also want to hide this, drag it, drag it down so that it doesn't show it in our platform. To fix this bug, you just need to remove the preview script from our normal wall and this should works perfectly. Yeah. And uh, extra features that I want to add to our program is the rotate feature 
So I want that whenever the user or the player press R, we will rotate the object. So for example, it will rotate 90 degrees or 45 degrees, whatever you like. So if input dot get key down and we want our key code dot r which is the r key and we want to rotate it so simply do transform dot rotate function and we want to rotate in the y-axis because the y-axis like is like help us rotate horizontally and now you just need to write it like this and because in our build script we use our we make our object clone the same as preview world transform the rotation we don't need to do that again so now if we run our program you can see that every time I press R, our world is changing its rotation. And when I place it like this, it still have the same rotation as the preview object. So I can create a box like this. And yeah. This is the end of this video, I hope you guys enjoy it. And in the next video, I'll show you guys how to use number pad to switch between walls and furniture. For now, thanks for watching and goodbye!